Today's beer is very special. It's one I've been meaning to get to. My boy sent it to me a long time ago already. I mean, like <clears throat> a couple months. Um, but you know, I, I you know I just been meaning to get to it and I haven't. And I apologize to him and everything. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy from New York. Came all the way out here to see me and everything. We chilled, had a good time. You know what I'm saying? But. This is a beer from Lakewood, New York, called Southern Tier Pumpkin, man. Now, I know it's kind of late in the season and everything, but do what you can. You know what I'm saying? It's a brew. Uh, it's an ale brewed with uh, with pumpkins. It says right on here, it's an imperial uh, pumpkin. But it is 9% ABV. Dude, look at the cap. The cap's even awesome on this thing. Look at that. Nice, a little blurry with my camera, but it's all good. Trust me, it's nice. I have heard so many good things about this beer, man. I don't even know where to start. Uh, but that's the reason he sent it to me. He said it was awesome. Served 40 degrees. Trust me, bro. Oh, this beer is freaking cold, man. Let me tell you, man. It might not even be 40, all right? I like a cold beer, you know, when I'm chilling, enjoying it for myself. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's what I like. Um, uh, da, da, da. They have a whole big, you know, thing here on the beer and the history and all kinds of stuff. You know, that's good, man. I went on their website, okay, and their website's very nice. Um, one thing I liked about their website, and it's southerntierbrewing.com, okay? Just spell out Southern Tier just like they do on the bottle, okay? Southern Tier, and then it's going to just add brewing to it, and you're on. What I liked about their website, first and foremost, you go to it, and it has just a big disclaimer. Look, it's illegal to be on our site if you're underage. Boom, click there, boom. You don't have to enter in your freaking age and all that. Who's doing that anyway, right? Just, I love the way they do that. Boom, you get in there, boom. You it, Very easy to navigate, okay? Beer websites sometimes can be the worst, okay? At the top, they have beers, tours, brewery, pub, gear, contact. Very simple. Distributors even. Uh, and then once you go to beers, they have year-round, seasonal, local, Imperials, you know, I, I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, you'll you'll always get two thumbs up on your website from me because I have to do so many beer websites, and you know, the ones that are easy to navigate always get props, man. I'll always, man. You guys are, you guys hired the right company to do your website for you, or you got the right guy to do it inside your company. It's great, okay? You can go right to the Imperial Pumpkin Ale section. Gives you a lot of information. Still, I still don't quite understand that formula. That's just my ignorance. That's just, that's kind of on me. I should kind of know that stuff by now. On their website, they say it's 8.8 .8 ABV. Uh, when you go to Beer Advocate, which is a, re a website I always use for reference, um... It says that it's 8.8% 8 8 ABV as well. But I like that they have the ABV on, on Beer Advocate from 2009, which was 7.9. And the ABV for 2010 is uh, 9%. So <clears throat> they do have it listed correctly on uh, Beer Advocate. Um I like that they do have the malts that they use in here. So they use the two-roll pale and a caramel malt, uh, pureed pumpkin, and uh, kettle hops. And, uh, and uh, uh, for uh, kettle hops is their magne magnum, and the uh, aroma hops was the sterling, okay? Uh, so a couple different hops in there, of course. Usually companies will use a couple different hops and a couple different uh, uh, malts as well, barleys. Um, so on Beer Advocate, let me get back to that real quick. A minus out of 955 reviews. I, and that's just the tip of the iceberg because I've been hearing tons of good stuff about it, okay? I always have my towel, bro. Always have your towel for beer emergency. You never know, man. Beer emergency happens, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be ready, dog. Here we go. All right. 
Pump King, bro. Check it. All right. <laughs> you know, there's there's people doing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's let's get this cracked. Oh, I dropped my cap too. Little smoke. Not too impressed on the smoke, dog. What's up? Man, I feel like I haven't had a good smoke in a while. Now, on the share of beer we have, but on my reviews, I don't feel like, oh, dude, dude. Right? Now, this is what I've been hearing, and uh, wow, just from opening and pouring this here, I am getting a damn serious uh, pumpkin smell. Wow, that smells like uh, like really good spiced pumpkin pie. You know what I'm saying? Lots of nutmeg. Like a good spiced, it does. <laughs> that rocks. Mmm, <laughs> man, that make me want some pumpkin pie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get some pumpkin pie now. Mmm, that does. I mean, lots of uh, 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 just different spices, and, and, and you're getting that real nice, hearty, a real hearty pumpkin smell. I mean, you could almost taste it. Why wait? Oh. Brother, the only thing disappointing about this beer is you ain't got one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is good. This is two thumb. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Man, the only thing that sucks about this right now is you ain't drinking one with me. Let me tell you. Fill this up here again, man, because, uh, mm, man, that dude, that is like liquid. Uh, no charge. Liquid uh, uh, pumpkin pie, bro, in beer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right? Mm. Oh, dude. Now, if you're not over 18, this is why I want you to turn your head because this is the beer porn part. <laughs> <laughs> right? Look at the lacing, bro. Lacing. Look at that. Good ingredients right there, man. All right. Mmm. That's a little nice little extra sign of quality right there, dog. By the way, this glass was sent to me by a viewer. Thank you, bro. Mmm. Oh, man. Dude, if you can find it, get it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. Mmm. Hands down, bro. Damn good stuff. Southern Tier representing New York well. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Ah, oh, man. That's out the park right there. That's good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know how they did at Great American Beer Fest, but, uh... Mmm. Ah, oh, representing very nicely. The carbonation is not too... Not too overwhelming. Uh, it's actually very lightly carbonated now. Uh, let's get some more poured up in here. Man, damn. You know, any more 22 ounces ain't enough, bro. Look at that. Damn. Bottle's empty. What's up? Um, how does that happen? Anyway. That's the last of the bottle. Did I do that? <laughs> What's up? That was good. But I like the head. The head's, you know, nice tiny bubbles in there. Just now getting to the head. Um, you know, it it, it, it seems to be uh, not real creamy looking, though, okay? You do get like a like a little bit of a hot bite in there, but it's more of a sweeter hot bite. That malt, uh, the malts that they use really uh, kind of balance that little bit of a harsh uh bitterness out of there you know what i'm saying so you so, see in the spice that's in there uh comes through in the middle of your of your of your drink there and just really 
just highlights everything. The first thing you get is a sweetness, followed by the nice uh, uh, spice and the pumpkin and everything like that, and then it and then it follows up uh, with that nice little tangy bitterness, and you get the. Uh, 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 the carbonation going up in there. It's just really well done. Really, really well done. Mmm. Oh, man. Nice color. Look at that. It's not too filtered. Tons of flavor in there, man. Trust me. Get it, bro. Thanks to my pal for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Sorry for taking so long. Okay, but it was worth it, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Y'all take it easy. Enjoy your beers, man. Hey, and get out there and take some pictures, man. Take a picture a day, man. You know, check it out. See what happens. <laughs> All right, man. Peace.